Hello and welcome to Spotlight on the Arts. I'm Mark McLemore. Since creating his first recording in 1996, my guest Gary Strautsos has been living a dream of music. Influenced by jazz trailblazers Herbie Mann and Paul Horn, Strautsos found his voice in one of the world's oldest instruments, the flute, and through that has built a connection with ancient music and traditions. Gary Strautsos, thank you for being here. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate you having me. Uh, it has been a long journey for me, uh, trying to keep the great music alive through the decades. It's almost hard to believe a lot of it ever happened, but I've had such a great opportunity to uh, meet some of the great players, and they've asked me to carry forward the music, and that's why I'm here in Tucson for the next three weeks to carry forward some of the great music. Yes, in addition to the film premiere and the concert that you'll be doing, there's another reason that you've come to Tucson, and that once again connects to our ancient past. So tell us what that is. Well, right across the lawn here at the Arizona State Museum, there are some replicated flutes that uh, are believed to be Hopi. Uh, they're carbon dated over 2,000 years old, and next Wednesday, I'm gonna have an opportunity, a private viewing of those flutes. So I'm really excited because I have replicated flutes from the exact measurements from the flutes that were gifted to the Arizona State Museum uh, back in 1957. What's a quality about these ancient flutes that appeals to you today as a player? Uh, you have your option of playing any type of instrument. Why do you go back to these original clay and wooden flutes? Well, I like the Kids sometimes they say it's like a cloud of unknowing. It's a very mysterious sound. People aren't used to hearing. When I'm playing a classical regular silver flute or playing jazz or Latin music, that you hear the notes and we're familiar with that. When you hear flutes that are really the first flute of the desert, they're not the North American Indian flutes we're used to hearing for the last 40 years here in the Southwest or around the country. We're talking about instruments that have not really been heard. And my friend made the replications, and now I'm sharing them, and I'm really excited to work uh, with uh, Clark Tanakanongva, the vice chairman of the Hopi Nation now. It's been an honor for him to take the time. He feels that the flutes sound like ceremony in his voice, and it just is really special to work with Clark. Well, much like the major influence on you as a jazz artist, the great Paul Horn, you've explored playing music in sacred spaces, and you'll be doing some of that here in Tucson. Uh, but also, you recently played a project in the Grand Canyon that sounds kind of amazing. What, what was playing in the Watchtower like? Well, I wish the great Paul Horn was still alive, because we talked about these flutes before he passed away, and we had an opportunity to be the first people to record in the Desert View Watchtower on the South Rim in the Grand Canyon. Clark Tenakananga, Matt Nelson played African clay udu drums, and Clark also talked about they have clay pots that they blow into during their ceremonies, which really surprised me. Then I got to play these replicated flutes, so we had an evening session, and that is part of our film and our audio. So people are gonna get to see it, the film, uh, viewing at the loft, you're going to get to see Clark singing in the flutes, in the clay pots. It was just great. It was a really rare opportunity for me. Tell audiences what they might expect at San Pedro Chapel. You know, when you play in spaces like the San Pedro, which is a sacred space, it becomes a musical collaborator or a partner. Paul and I used to talk about that, how he used the great Taj Mahal back in 1968 as a and musical partner and a collaborator, and he improvised off the top of his head 36 minutes of music that, of course, went on to become a cult recording and like the, fur, the grandfather of New Age. For me, to be able to use that space and the people there and bring everybody together like a community is going to be really exciting. Well, thank you for thank sharing you your time with us. Mark. A film about his musical adventure at the Grand Canyon will screen at the Loft Cinema on Saturday, November 17th at 4.30 p.m. Then you can hear him in solo concert paying tribute to jazz legend Paul Horn at the San Pedro Chapel on East Fourth Old Road. 